Being in academics has allowed me to bring all of the things that I love about nursing into one position. So I still see patients, I have a place where I can delve into my scholarship and research, and then of course I absolutely love to teach, so I get to share my passion with students. So it's a great way to combine all of those things together. What I love the most about teaching, particularly in the doctoral programs, is bringing the clinical doctorate and the research doctorate students together and watching how you can impress upon these students um, the meaningful ways in which you can affect patient care when you take the science of discovery and then translate that science into patient care so that you know we're always making a positive effect on patient care through what we do based on the latest evidence and watching students really connect research and clinical care together and the translation science piece is really exciting. I also just really love watching students do things for the first time, like publishing a manuscript. Um, there's nothing better than when they get that acceptance letter. It's very exciting and they learn that, you know, some of the things that we do as academics really aren't that scary. Mm -hmm. Once you do it the first time, hopefully we're encouraging students to do that again and again and again throughout their entire career. So it's just really exciting to see students make those connections and then feel really encouraged and empowered by the things that they're doing. My research has been focused on the study of chronic illness in underserved populations. So I think the thing that's most exciting to me is that over time I've learned that um, the complexities of chronic illness and thinking about that in the context of being in an underserved area has introduced many more methods than I ever thought were possible in terms of doing interprofessional work, um, and team science, and infusing not just a qualitative approach to studying problems, but quantitative methods as well, and mixed methods approaches, and using community-based participatory research strategies so that your problems are informed by the community and the solutions are informed by the team in conjunction with the community so that it's a constant evolution. So it's really exciting to watch nursing take a lead in solving some of these problems. There are often times when, you know, the broader population will look to medicine for where their position is on a certain problem or where the latest evidence is when in fact nursing with its you know professional holistic view of um, people and patients they really have a broader perspective on tackling some of the more complex problems because you can't you can't solve things through one single ideological method you have to take a nuanced approach and infuse some of these unique ideas, um, methods, and strategies into really tackling different problems. So that's what's really exciting. It's constantly evolving. Well, I think, um, you know, in the classroom is where things begin with doctoral students, but it's really the beginning of, you know, a lifelong spirit of learning. So when I think about our doctoral programs in nursing, since we have a clinical doctorate and a research doctorate, what I hope our programs do is inspire momentum. So momentum to keep learning, momentum to keep translating the, um, the science of discovery into practice, momentum to be a voice for nursing, um, and just to keep moving, to do whatever it is that you want to do in nursing, because it's boundless. There are, there are absolutely no limits to what you can do in nursing as far as what job you take. You can work for not-for-profit, you can work in a hospital, you can work for the government, you can work in academics. I mean there are just a multitude of ways that you can have an influence on patients, health, health care, um, and for the profession. So I hope that our programs inspire students to keep moving and to sustain and enhance momentum as they go throughout their career.